Welcome to the jump. There's no basketball being played out there, but come on, come in, hang out with us because there is drama surrounding the Bulls. As first reported by the Chicago Sun-Times, team president Michael Reinsdorf looking to change up the Gar Pax duo in the front office. Gar Foreman, John Paxson have been at the helm since 2009, and the process of reviewing potential candidates has reportedly already begun. Bulls fans, of course, guys, can recite lists, reams of complaints, but the latest, there was an uproar just earlier this month, security started throwing people out who had fire Gar Packs on jerseys or shirts or something, which was considered sort of a, it's not a good look. And it was Grace, a we heard the chance on the show right. in Chicago. Right. That, right. We're doing a show at All-Star Game <sighs> in Chicago that frankly had nothing to do with the Chicago Bulls. And what did we hear? Fire, fire Gar Packs. Wow. To me, though, this is so much deeper than just Gar Packs. And it's long past the point where there needs to be new voices. But so much of this to me is on Mike Reinstorf. Yeah. who's running the day-to-day -day show. I mean, he signed off on Jabari Parker getting 20 million. He signed off on Dwayne Wade getting two years for almost 50 million. He signed off on Jim Boylan being the coach, and he signed off on Jordan Bell's pick getting traded for three and a half million. I mean, these are financial decisions for a team that's worth close to four billion at this point. And he's the guy who needs to hire somebody desperately and just get out of the way. You need to allow the basketball people to do their job. And Garden Packs have had their run. They want to win very badly. Nobody's ever questioned that. They just haven't made a lot of very good decisions in the last few years. It's time for change. It's time to hire somebody who are, is going to have a fresh voice and new ideas on how to run that. And even more rage, having watched the way the Warriors operate the last year and a half, and seeing the money they spend on all areas of that team, not just on the floor, but in every aspect of that organization. And to know that the Bulls do not have that reputation around the league and there are former players who are happy with the organization. There are a lot of former players who are not happy with the organization. To see th those differences, this is a team that needs a image rehabilitation in the worst way. And in order to do that, you hire one person to have one voice and you let that person do their work. You know what? I'm going to give credit and say I credit the NBA for this, and this is why. The All-Star Weekend was that epic that the Chicago Bulls were like, hold on, this was great for the city. They, you could feel the energy. Let's, we got to reevaluate this. We got to get basketball back to where it needs to be in this United Center and in the, in, 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 in the city of Chicago. So I give a lot of credit to All-Star Weekend because I think that, that, you know, pumped the blood, had the blood flowing, you know, where they was like, hold on, we need to make a change here. We need to get things back on course. Look, we already know what a good basketball city Chicago is, not just in terms of actual basketball city and, and the talent that it has produced, but then also when you had a dynasty there, you had the whole country feeling like they were America's mm -hmm. team. It is a place people want to go and visit anyway, so people can come see the Bulls. It is a market that has, in some ways, a lot of the advantages of some of the coastal markets that we talk about. It really should be almost lumped in with them, despite geography, and yet they really haven't had their foot on the gas in that way. And I like those two guys personally, by the way. You don't have to be a bad person not to have been able to do a good enough job, and they've had a good enough run that I, I certainly am curious to see who they bring in, and I hope it is someone, you've mentioned a couple names on this show before, Perk, guys who came out of Oklahoma City who could mm -hmm. be really good. I, I just think that there are some elite basketball minds operating, and it would be great to get one of those. Great to the name Chicago. to keep an eye on to me, Mark Bartlestein. That's interesting. He is well-respected all throughout the league as an agent. He's based in the Chicago area. Well, that he would certainly that be going the direction, well. the other direction, and that's the direction Fans, that the Knicks have gone in, absolute, the Warriors have gone in, teams. the Lakers have gone in. They want an agent in there, and we'll see if they go that way. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.